Hello, it is me, Mr Wilkinson. This half term, we are going to be learning about Robin Hood in English. Do you know who Robin Hood is? Let me know what you think. We're going to be reading a poem about Robin Hood. But first, let's get into a bit of a medieval mood. Three, two, one. Much better. Cue the medieval music. So, the poem I'm going to be reading today is called The Legend of Robin Hood. Let's listen. Pin back your ears and listen to this famous tale of a brave outlaw who loved stealing gold from England's rich and giving it out to England's poor. The famous legend of Robin Hood. Fabulous tales pass through the ages. Here are some of the stories set down for you now in these pages. One day Robin was in the woods with his bow and quiver. He shot a bird to cook for his lunch, then headed home across the river. On the old bridge stood a huge man. Little John was his name. He would not let Robin cross. He wanted to play a game. They fought each other with big sticks and Robin fell into the stream. John helped him out of the water and said with a smile, We'd make a great team. Robin Hood gladly agreed, and they went off as a pair. Robin Hood with his bow and arrow, and Little John strong as a bear. Over the years others joined them. In the forest they made their den. Will Scarlet, Much, Alan Adale, Robin called them his merry men. One day a coach came through the forest, and the men saw a chance for some fun. They shouted, we're outlaws, give us your gold! And a boy jumped out and started to run. You're never gonna catch me! Robin gave chase and caught him, pulling off the boy's hat. Robin realised it wasn't a boy, but a girl, and a pretty one at that. Her name was Maid Marian. She put up quite a fight. Robin thought she was great. It was love at first sight. Aww. I like your attitude, said Robin. You've got style and sass. I want you to join me, me and my men, and be my merry lass. Marion and Robin went to get married, but the bishop said, not on your nelly. A rat bag like you can't come to my church. You're common and dirty and smelly. <coughs> on the way home, they met a monk standing by a stream. He said, you shall not pass. Another challenge, it would seem. His name was Friar Tuck. <laughs> and he asked them a riddle or two. Of course Robin got the answers right. He laughed. I'm smarter than you. <coughs> so Tuck carried Robin across the stream, but dropped him and Robin got wet. Marion laughed and said that the monk was the merriest man yet. And Robin had a good idea while he was being carried. This monk could perform the wedding, so Robin and Marion were married. And though it's now time to leave our new friends, fear not, it's not the end of their story. As long as folk love to read a good tale, the name Robin Hood shall echo in glory. What did you think of that? Go on to the next slide and answer the questions. Bye.